Hello friends, welcome back to the James Lawrence Allcott channel. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Um, let's react to my group predictions. Of course, that's done now. And then we're going to predict some round of 16 games as well. I'm going to be going to the England-Senegal game and Argentina-Australia. So I will be reporting from those games as much as I can. So if you want to enjoy all that content and you haven't subscribed to the channel, or if you enjoy the content and you just haven't hit the button yet, move that hand, hit that button and tuck in. Right, let's dive in. Okay. Top two of each group, Netherlands and Senegal. I called that one. Um, they got themselves over the line, didn't they, Senegal? And they were pretty tidy as well, despite not having Sadio Mane. Group B, I said England would top the group. I actually said Wales would finish in second place. I got that totally wrong. Shame on me and shame on the Welsh. Group C, Argentina, Poland, Mexico, Saudi Arabia. I called that one as well. I think most people did. It has actually gone to form in a several areas. One group where I was certain that certain the top two would be France and Denmark. Aussie fans, let me on camera give you your moment. Unbelievable desire, organisation, passion, commitment to get yourselves over the line and into the round of 16 where you will be playing Argentina. I'm going to be going to that game. I've got to be honest. I'm conflicted because I like Lionel Messi, but I, I love the underdogs. I might have to root for Australia in that one, but I, incredible scenes, them getting them their way through. And Denmark, is it a bit of a curse when you're the dark horse? Saw it with Turkey in the Euros. Now we're seeing it with Denmark. Absolute disaster for them. And Tunisia were good. Tunisia were really good. So Australia did amazing to get through that group. Group E, Japan finishing top. There will be hipsters in the comments just declare yourself as a hipster before you make your comment. Who would have said Japan would win the group? I didn't call it. I thought Spain would finish top. I thought Germany would finish second. And I thought Japan would finish third. But Japan, shut up my mouth. Oosh. Very impressive stuff. Group F, Morocco finishing top. I did say Morocco would get through the group. I said it was going to be Belgium, then Morocco, and then Croatia. I thought Canada might finish bottom. I was really impressed with Canada. I actually seen them live. They should absolutely trounced Belgium. Weren't able to get the job done. But Morocco, very impressive. I thought they might get th through. And yeah, they're a frightening prospect in the next round. And final two groups, Brazil, we expected them to win their group. I think I went with Serbia for that group. So I got that one wrong as well. Ended up finishing bottom of the group in a very, very tight group. Switzerland just quietly go about their business. Very good at international level. And... Group H, Portugal, Korea, Uruguay, Ghana. I think I went safe with this one as well, and I went with Uruguay. But South Korea, again, the sort of heart and desire and open football that they often played were worthy second place in this group and made their way through. So I got quite a few wrong. I went quite safe this time, but I think overall, actually, I got a decent amount right. But it's very difficult, these shocks. I'm disappointed in myself in some states, but we can only move forwards. And thus, we must move into the round of 16 and make some predictions. So let's get on with it. Netherlands against the USA. Now, there will be a surprise. There's always a surprise. There's always a surprise. But where will it be? Let me know in the comments below which one you think it will be. Netherlands, USA. I'm going to come back to that. Because I think there are some games that feel obvious to me. Dare I say it? This is so dangerous. And then, and then we'll come back and decide where our shock will be. Argentina against Australia. I've seen both play. And Australia fans, I gave you applauds. But Argentina started to tick along. In that last game against Poland, they started to look really, really good. And I think, I think they will have too much. So I'm sorry. I would love to see it. But I think it will be Argentina winning that one. Japan against Croatia. This is like this is amazing for both of these nations, obviously. Because Japan win that group. There's no reason why Japan can't beat Croatia. And maybe that's the story of this one. Maybe it is Japan. I've got to say, Croatia have cut through teams really well. That midfield three, I've watched quite a bit of them. Bro uh, Brozovic and Modric. They seem to just, and uh, Kovacic, of course, they do it every single time. Really, really impressive. And actually, Kramaric up top has been really good for them as well. We'll come back to that. Brazil, Korea, you have to, I've said Brazil from the start. It's going to have to be Brazil. I think they'll just have that little bit too much, despite the, the defeat in their last game. England, Senegal. I, I am... I'm quietly confident that we'll be just fine. Make sure you check out my England preview. That'll be out uh, this afternoon. 
I do think England will win. I'll give my score prediction in that video. So make sure you go and check that one out. And if you subscribe, then it will just be, you'll be told. So maybe hit the button. It's France against Poland. France, I think, are way too strong. So it would be an England-France quarterfinal. Poland were really, really poor against Argentina. Was that the state of the group? <sighs> maybe, but Lewandowski was so isolated. And I think the same will occur in this game. Morocco against Spain. Oof. I think we come back to that. And actually, Portugal, Switzerland, again, very, very tight game. <sighs> now, again, look, on paper, it's so easy. You go, you go Netherlands, you go Croatia, you go Morocco, you sorry, you go Spain, you go Portugal. But it just doesn't happen like that ever. We know this. And thus, there will be, I think there'll be, I can't get. I'm going to say Japan. I think Japan will beat Croatia. And the other team that I'm just not sure about, I think Netherlands have had enough. I think they've actually had quite an easy group as well. I've said previously the US could shock. It's the front line that, that I struggle with, though. I'm going to stick with Netherlands for that one. Just about. Portugal, Switzerland. Switzerland are just very, very clever. Mbolo looks good up top. Shakiri still always does what he does. He's got Shaka in there as well. Rodriguez alike. I'm going to go with a shock here with Portugal. Portugal looked solid against Uruguay, but still didn't totally break them down. They sh Portugal should be winning that, but I've just got a gut feeling it's going to be Switzerland. It really impressed me last night in terms of sort of keeping calm and carrying on. And then Morocco, Spain. Morocco have been really impressive. But I think overall Spain have been good, right? I'm going to go sensible today, but I would absolutely love Morocco to make it through. My boy, Ilias Chair. Come on, son. Can, can we give him some minutes, please? I'm going to go Spain. So for this round of 16, that means the quarterfinals will be Spain, Switzerland, England, France, Japan, Brazil, and Netherlands, Argentina. If we want to carry it on, it's got to be Brazil. That will be tough, but I let go with Argentina. That is what I had at the start. If you want to go check out my prediction video, Matt will confirm that. England, France. I said England, Denmark it was going to be. This is nothing like I thought it was going to be. But you would imagine it would be something like this. You would expect, if we're going with the favourites, France and then Spain against Argentina and Brazil. Would that be the four best squads? Quite possibly. I'd have Brazil. I've had Brazil from day one. France. I think that is... Now I've seen everyone play, I feel like it's going to be Brazil, France in the final. But time will tell. Guys, talk to me. Let me know how you feel about England's chances. If you're an England fan or your country's chances, let me know in the comments down below. below. It's been a long trip. Okay. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Get behind your boy, Jimmy Alcott. Check out all the uh, YouTube shorts I'm doing as well. And um, just have a great day. I love you. And I wish you all the best. I'll see you in the next one.